ஹரி ஓம் குட் ஈவினிங் டு ஒன் அண்ட் ஆல் ப்ரெசென்ட் ஹியர் ஆன் பிஹாஃப் ஆஃப் அக்ஷர வித்யா ட்ரஸ்ட் அண்ட் மதுரத்வனி ஐ டேக் கிரேட் ப்ளஷர் இன் வெல்கமிங் யூ ஆல் டு அ டாக் பை ஆர் பூஜ்ய சுவாமினி ஆன் நாதோ பாசனா மைண்ட் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் ஆஸ் அ ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் சாதனா இன் தியாகராஜ கிருத்திஸ் ஐ ரிக்வெஸ்ட் பூஜ்ய சுவாமினி டு டேக் த டயஸ் I now request the artists of the evening to come and occupy the stage. I call upon Sri Ramakrishnan of RK Convention Center to deliver the welcome address. Sri Guru Bhyob Namaha. My respectful pronouns to Pooja Sri Swamini. I welcome you all to this evening's program. The primary aim of RK Convention Center is to have only music and music related programs here. What a great pressure can have can we have than to listen to Swamini's lecture year after year here on both Vedanta and music. Vedanta generally consists of dialogue between guru and shishya. Tyagaraja also in his songs has questions to himself in pallavi and answers them in the latter part of the song only a traditional guru of holiness swamini satyavardhananda saraswati can reveal such truths it is our pleasure to welcome you swamini i have early reels to made few of these points but it is always it gives me pleasure to recall them again and for the newcomers also too we stayed just across the road and some 15 years back swamini started taking classes in this neighborhood and my wife and i started attending the class then she also attended at other places too and we have become extremely involved in her classes and her we, we are a part of her yearly camps too swamini also inaugurated madhura dhvani in 2012 be it geeta or upanishad class she would readily quote from tyagaraja krites in most of her talks so i requested her to give this lecture nodo pasna and that way this is the fourth in the series a great guru explaining both vedanta and music in a simple way all earlier year talks of nodo pasna are available on youtube to all of you this talk also he is also going live now i welcome i welcome ramakrishna murthy who is always a part of this program his grand grandparents are students of swamini for more than two decades i also welcome sandeep ramachandran and akshay padmanabhan i welcome musicians rasikas and swamini students to this evening's function thank you Thank you, Shri Ramakrishnan. I would now request Srimati Meera Ramakrishnan to come on to the dais and felicitate Pooja Swamini.
Now I call upon Srimati Vani to give us a small introduction about Nadopasana. Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha. My pranams at the lotus feet of Puja Swamini. Today Puja Swamini is going to talk about Mind Management Part 4. This is the fifth series in this talk, in this Nadopasana. All of us know, worship of God through music is nothing but Nadopasana. Music itself is uh, known as Devanada, the voice of God. There is a saying, Shishurveti Pashurveti Veti Ganarasam Pranihi. That means, the child, the animal, the serpent, Everyone can understand the nectar of music. It is an integral part of every human being. In fact, every activity in our life starts with music only. We acknowledge our birth to this strange world by crying immediately after we come out of our secured mother's womb. The baby's rhythmic cry is music. Immediately, mother tries to pacify the child by her sweet, affectionate lullaby, a song sung by the mother to calm down the child and sleep. The child calms down instantly. Who asks the child to react to music? Not only human beings, but animals also respond to music. As soon as they heard Lord Krishna's Venunada in Brindavan, all cattle ran towards him with their heads and tails swinging with joy. Who advised them to respond to music? Even a serpent dances when the snake catcher blows his Nadaswara. Who commands that poisonous snake to react to music? Even plants also react to music. Our elders say music has capacity to melt the hard stone that is Pashana. How it is possible? It is possible because music is the incarnation of God Himself. It is within us and around us also. Look at the Mother Nature ones. Sounds of waterfalls, chirping sounds of birds, honeybees buzzing noise, blowing sounds of the wind, noise emerging from the moving branches of trees, Roaring thunders, animal sounds, noise of the rain, what not. Everything in this music, in this world, is in a rhythmic, musical manner. Even our physical heart sounds in a rhythmic manner, isn't it? I hope you agree with me. So, this entire world is nothing but a musical court where Panchabhutas are playing Sarigama Padanisa Saptaswara Alapana. Everything is music, music. It is not somewhere else. Music is an integral part of everything and everybody. That's why everybody and everything in this world respond to music. As we grow and continue the journey of life, the only one who always accompanies us is music. Music has got such a significant role in human's life. Therefore, music not only purifies the human mind, but can also lead the person towards the moksha. Knowing this, great people and jnanis utilize this music as a spiritual pursuit and attained moksha. One of them was Sri Tyagaraja Swami, the greatest musician and composer of Thilugu Kritis in Carnatic music. Now, by connecting the classical music to our Vedic traditions, Pooja Swamini is going to illustrate us how Tyagaraja Kritis serve as one of the means for spiritual pursuit to attain moksha. Manalone untu, manatote untu, manachuttu untu, Manalne, Unnata Disavaina, Moksham Vaipu Nadipinche, A Sarigamala Saptaswara, Sangeeta Madhura Dhvanulne, Manavipud Aswadiddam, Anandiddam. Thank you. Hari Om.
शंकराचार्य मध्यमाचार्य पर्यताम वंदे गुरु परंपरा In this series of Nado Pasana talks, we are listening to Carnatic music, which is purely classical and 
ट्रेडिशनल दिस म्यूजिक इट्स सोर्स इज सामवेद विच इज कमिंग डाउन टू द अर्थ फ्रॉम गॉड इज सरस्वती लॉर्ड गणेश ऑफकोर्स लॉर्ड कृष्ण एंड लेटर फ्रॉम ग्रेट महर्षीज लाइक नारदा तुम्बुरा एंड फ्रॉम द ट्रिनिटीज सेंट त्यागराजा मुत्तुस्वामी दीक्षितर श्यामा शास्त्री एंड पुरंदरदास एक्सेट्रा दिस म्यूजिक इज डिवाइन आर्ट इट इज वन अमॉन्ग द सिक्सटी फोर आर्ट्स चतुष्टी कला चित्रक नृत्यक संगीतक शिल्पक मेनी मोर दी सिक्सटी फोर कला दे आर कॉल एज फाइन आर्ट्स वाई दे आर कॉल फाइन आर्ट्स is it very fine that is why it is called fine arts since it refines our mind it has got the capacity of refining our inner personality it is known as fine arts it refines our mind it purifies our mind any art for that matter how it refines we don't know it refines that is the beauty of that art among 64 kalas sangeeta kala very much appealing close to human heart touching pleasing comfortable this art we are all enjoying today according to hindu culture every art is divine how it can be divine it cannot be divine by itself its divinity depending upon our attitude how we look at it i can look at it as an entertainment or i can look at it as my profession to earn money or i can look at it as a worship upasana how we look at it if you combine or balance these three you can derive much more benefit as a child i enjoy only rhythm tune as i grow older as i become adult i learn to enjoy the lyric the sahityam as i grow much more more older i learn to see the lyric in depth 
ద సాహిత్య వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ లిరిక్ వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ సాహిత్య ద సాహిత్య ఇన్ క్లాసికల్ మ్యూజిక్ ఈజ్ ప్యూర్లీ సద్భక్తి సన్మార్గ సద్గుణ with this three the combination put together is the lyric of sangeeta sampradaya when i am mature enough able to understand the lyric i see the values the disciplines and the life direction it shows every word make a sense that meaning a at least 10% or 20% or 30% 40 50% it has to make a sense to me the lyric has to make a sense to me it is not just verbal words and that sense that meaning i have to live to that meaning in my day to day life saint tyagaraja writes in his kirtanas lot of disciplines lot of values what are all the values to be imbibed what are all the vices to be avoided all he brings in that lyric the sahitya without sahitya the music is only a sound the bhava comes bhava comes only because of lyric and the bhava goes along with the rhythm raga and it enhances more and more appealing to my heart saint tyagaraja addresses his mind giving guidance to his mind not only to his mind he is giving guidance to the listeners also sangeeta rasikas also he is guiding if i am ready to look into that guidance it is a guidance it is not mere entertainment the purpose of that sangeeta kala the divinization is very important what do you mean by divinization the divinization means the art has come from the lord not come from the lord really speaking it is the manifestation of the lord bhagavan's vibhuti it is that is our attitude here towards music from ancient time that is our attitude we don't look at it as just like an entertainment it is much more upasana it has to bring transformation in my life and uh, i refine my mind through that fine arts i can convert anything divine in this world that is the greatness of our hindu culture we are born brought up here what is our greatness we are also having greatness converting everything into divine so that i can become divine
through divine attitude i can also become divine one day chagaraja guides all rasikas sangeeta rasikas he is giving guidance oh mind there is a rajamarga if i say rajamarga you understand what kirtana that is the greatness of our music there is chakkani rajamarga in karahara priya how tyagaraja gives guidance let us listen from our ramakrishnan murtis brindam
When the mind is in distress or disturbed by something, 
due to many reasons people take to some drugs or intoxicants they search a some solution to escape from that distress even without distress also just to have some extraordinary experience some people get into the habit of liquor alcohol shastra says suram na pibet don't drink liquor that is not the solution chagaraja asking oh mind why are you are going towards wrong routes when there is chakkani raja margam available undaga chakkani raja margam a right path a safest path which takes you to moksha if you take this type of by lanes wrong route means by lanes taking wrong habits and become addicted to that and becoming slaves to that spoiling one's own life on so on family and harmful to the society also oh mind there is a right path rajamarga you go that way don't go towards this wrong side wrong paths once any thing become a habit if you remove h a bit remains if you remove a bit remains if you remove b what remains it remains what is that it tell me habit habit remains therefore never succumb to those addictions what are they just a sample he gives in the next anupallavi chi anu ganga rasamele why you are going to take that liquor here ganga rasa means not ganges water ha uh-huh. very difficult to Huh? to translate here ganga rasa means immediately what comes in our mind we are all addicted to ganga water how chagaraja before ganga rasa he puts a word chi anu chi means what you don't want to touch it so unhealthy chi an here ganga rasa means a type of juice taken from various palm leaves it is called ganga rasa that is the meaning of ganga rasa there the liquor is that if you smell also it is a papam shastra says you smell it also it is a papa where is the question of drinking <laughs> that means maha papa it means how chagaraja nicely guiding the entire humanity when a sangeeta rasika listens this kirtana it should make a sense when a singer sings 
this kirtana it should make a sense if it won't make a sense there is no meaning of singing there is no meaning of listening i am doing injustice to whom chagraja even rasikas listeners singers anyone who enjoys the music the lyric must make a sense how powerful that word is chiyanu ganga rasamele when there is a nice good milk is available chikkani palu not like avin milk in avin milk there is no cream at all when milk is creamless what taste is there but we are all drinking only creamless milk of course even you take out the cream also milk is so sweet chikkani palu meegada meegada means cream so sweet that's why lord krishna loves milk it is satvik aahara chikkani palu meegada undaga chiyanu ganga rasamele what is chakkani rajamarga drinking milk is chakkani rajamarga <laughs> not drinking liquor alcohol or drugs if you are addicted to that you become not in human being you go down to the animal nature animal man to man man you have to become that you are going downwards retrogression therefore oh mind don't go towards those habits wrong habits then what are the right habits tell me if you ask i will tell you what are the right habits to be developed what is that right path i will show you it is simple for me what is that rama nama <laughs> see agaraja has got only one powerful eh? weapon in his hand that is rama nama what he says in charanam kantiki sundara taramagu roopame if you want to see see only bhagwan's roopam don't see local any other miss world or some beauties are these are all not real kantiki sundara magu roopame not only that beautiful rama is so beautiful so enchanting captivating personality that rama nama chanted by lord shiva mukkanti nota chalagu namame shri ram ram rame ti rame rame manorame sahasranam tatullyam rama nama varanane lord shiva says to parvati oh my dear parvati there are two interpretations puja swami ji gives two interpretations but according to tyagaraja one interpretation i will give okay he says aham manorame varanane rame shri ram 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 iti rame i revel in rama nama who gives joy to my heart manorame varanane beautiful face i revel in him by chanting his name shri ram 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 iti why it is equal to equal to thousand names sahasra nama tatulyam one ram nama is equal to sahasra nama thousand rama namas or vishnu sahasra nama you chant rama nama wonderful that is the right path never go to www world wide web that is not i am talking here don't go towards www which is adharmic i don't want to explain because you know that mo mind never go towards those adharmic paths that which takes you 
సో ఇన్ఫీరియర్ జన్మాస్ లేటర్ చక్కని రాజమార్గము ఉండగా త్యాగరాజింటనే నెలకొన్నది దైవమే వేర్ ఈస్ దిస్ రామ రామ ఈజ్ రిసైడింగ్ ఇన్ త్యాగరాజాస్ హౌస్ హీ సే సో కాన్ఫిడెంట్లీ హౌ మెనీ ఆఫ్ కెన్స్ కెన్ సే దట్ రామ ఈజ్ స్టేయింగ్ ఇన్ మై హౌస్ హౌ మెనీ ఆఫ్ కెన్ సే బట్ త్యాగరాజా ఈజ్ బోల్డ్లీ సే త్యాగరాజ్ ఇంటనే నెలకొన్నది దైవమే దిస్ దైవం లార్డ్ రామ ఇటువంటి శ్రీ సాకేతరాముని సచ్ ఏ లార్డ్ గ్రేట్ లార్డ్ ధర్మస్వరూపం రామో విగ్రహవాన్ ధర్మ ఇఫ్ యూ రిమంబర్ అండ్ చాండ్ ద నేమ్ ఆఫ్ ద లార్డ్ యువర్ లైఫ్ విల్ బీ మీనింగ్ఫుల్ పర్పస్ఫుల్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ ఆల్సో This is called Chakkani Rajamargam. Therefore, mind has to be preoccupied with the right sadhanas. It has to be preoccupied. We have to direct the mind. We have to train our mind. We have to discipline our mind. That is the sadhana. Every kirtana we are getting here. సాకేతరాముని భక్తి అని వితౌట్ డివోషన్ దెర్ ఇస్ నో లైఫ్ మే యూ హ్యావ్ డివోషన్ భక్తి ఆన్ యువర్ ఇష్ట దేవత వన్ వీ లిజన్ అబౌట్ రామాయణ వీ బికమ్ రామభక్తాస్ జనరల్లీ నెక్స్ట్ టైం విల్ గో టు భాగవత పురాణ వీ విల్ బికమ్ కృష్ణ భక్తాస్ and we go to some other temple shiva temple will become shiva bhaktas so any lord is okay you can worship that lord chant that name of the lord it purifies your mind jakaro janma vichedah pakara paapanashanah janma karma haret yasmat tasmat japa iti uchyate lord shiva himself chanting the Rama's name, na. why? Na? That Japa chanting the name of the Lord, Janma Vichedaha, it destroys no further, no more birth and death cycle. How? Papa Nashanaha, it destroys your Papa Karma. Sanchita Agami Karma, it destroys. Since it destroys Papa, including Punya also, otherwise you will get next birth if you have Punya. therefore that papa nashanah janma karma hareti yasma tasmat japa iti uchyate japa is highlighted in tyagaraja kirtanas lakhs and lakhs of time that bhaktas chanted the rama naam who is the great bhakta anjaneya always chanting rama naam చక్కని రాజమార్గం దట్స్ వై హరప్రియ ఖర హరప్రియ హరప్రియ మీన్స్ లవ్డ్ బై లార్డ్ శివ ద రాగా నేమ్ ఇట్స్ హరప్రియ ఖర హరప్రియ బ్యూటిఫుల్ కీర్తన నెక్స్ట్ వేల్ హియర్ సరస్వతి మనోహరి రాగా ఎంత వేడుకొందు
Upasana, all disciplines come under religious life. Until you recognize your higher nature, you can never be free from sorrow or chinta, worry. That higher nature you can know only through self-knowledge, Jnana Yoga. Karma Yoga, Panchamahayagnyas, Upasana Yoga, Dhyanam, Japa, etc. All of them, they are like first aid treatment for Bhava Roga. Bhava Roga means Samsara itself is a disease. This Bhavaroga, this disease can be treated in two ways. First aid treatment, which is palliative, it gives a temporary respite from pain. Final surgery, that is, Karma Yoga, Upasana Yoga prepares you for final Jnana Yoga in which you get self-knowledge. The self-ignorance is removed by Shravana Manana Nididhyasana Dwara. One has to come either in this birth or next birth. All the best if next birth. Not for all of you. For all of you in this birth only. Okay. The moksha is possible in this birth itself. Because Tyagaraja, first he brings that karma, upasana, elaborately. In this kirtana, he comes to Jnana Yoga. Having seen Rama, the darshanam, Rama darshanam he has got. After that also, Chagraja was not happy, totally. Then, he is desirous of that knowledge. Now he brings that idea here in this kirtana, yanta vedu kondu o raghava, o raghava, how much shall I have to plead you? Yanta vedu kondu. How much I have to plead you? Panta melara. O raghava. O rama. Panta melara. Why you are having that competitive nature? Why can't you come straight away? Why can't you remove my sorrow? That's why he sang. Chinta dirgha. That chinta means long worry. No? <laughs> so, that raga itself uses chinta. Why that much lengthening? Anna? Because our chinta is so long, long, very much. Chinta dir chutaka. Anupallavi, he, uh, he says, 
ಚಿಂತ ದೀರ್ಚುಟಾಕ್ ಎಂತ ಮೂಡಿರಾ ಮೂಡಿ ನಾಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಪ್ರೈಮ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮೋಡಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪಿಡಿವಾದ ತಮಿಳು ಅನ್ನೋ ಪಿಡಿವಾದ ಇನ್ ತೆಲುಗು ಪಟ್ಟುದೆಲೆ ವೈ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಸ್ಟಬನ್ ಇನ್ ರಿಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಸಾರೋ ವೈ ಯು ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಅನ್ರೀಸನಬಲ್ ಡಿಲೇ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ರೀಸನಬಲ್ ಡಿಲೇ ವೈ ಆರ್ ಡಿಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಚಿಂತ ದೀರ್ಚುಟ ಟು ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮೈ ಸಾರೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಮೈ ಸಾರು ದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಔಷಧಂ ಟು ರಿಮೂವ್ ಸಾರು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಔಷಧಂ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಲೋನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಔಷಧಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಲೋನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಔಷಧಂ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ದ ಮೆಡಿಸನ್ ಚಿಂತ ದೀರ್ಚುಟಾಕ್ ಎಂತ ಓಡಿರ why this unreasonable delay in relieving my grief there is a shloka how great this chinta is very is chita chinta dvayor madhe chinta eva gariyasi na between chita and chinta chita means that fire in burial ground that fire is called chita chinta means worry chita chinta dvayor mathe between these two who is great chinta eva gariyasi worry alone is so great na why chita dahati nirjeevam vapu chita the burial ground the fire dahati nirjeevam it burns a dead body nirjeevam vera chinta vari pranayutam vapuh chinta dahati pranayutam vapuh the worry destroys the life human being it cannot allow you to sleep it cannot allow you to eat it cannot allow you to do anything worry is so powerful because of worry only many diseases are coming all psychosomatic elements stress these are all because of worry only chagaraj also was having that time i think stress chinta dirchuta kenta modira and immediately he says antaratmana chantaramane where are you you are in my heart alone antaratmana you are my inner self he knows also he doesn't know also he who knows and knows he knows is a wise person he who knows not and knows he knows not chagaraja knows that he knows not Arjuna also knows that he knows not. I have to teach to such a person. Antaratmane, you are in my heart. You are so near. Chantaramane, chanta means near. You are so near to me. You are not away from me. One, Bhagavan alone cannot be away from us. Even in the world, if you want to push also you cannot push bhagavan even though you are keeping in puja room he is in your heart only why bhagavan is all pervading he is all pervading you cannot be away from bhagavan chanta ramani enta vedukondu you are in my heart only he rama remove my chinta what he remembers when he is writing this line taitri upanishad yo veda nihitam guhayam parame vyoman one one word i look into that line i remember upanishad vakyams then charanam he says chitta mandu ninnu chuchu saukhyam 
Previously, I was thinking to get darshan outside because of my ignorance. After long sadhana, now I have come to know what is that. Seeing you in my own antakkaranam, chittamandu ninnu chuchu saukhyame. That is more comfortable. I need not struggle because you are in my heart alone. You cannot go outside. I need not struggle. Chittamandu ninnu chuchu saukhyame. I have recognized that recognizing you in my own heart is the best way of worshipping the Lord. I have recognized billions of worth sentence. Then he says, Satta matrama chala namiteni. Whole Upanishad he puts in one line. Chandogya Upanishad, sixth chapter, Sadvidya. Uddhalaka says to Shvetaketu. Sadeva Somya Idamagra Asit Ekameva Dvitiyam. He Somya Shvetaketu Sadeva Asit Agrain Sat Brahma Pure Existence Alone was there before this creation also. Sadeva Somya in Telugu we call it as Satta Pure Existence Non Variable. Existence principle in all variables. These are all Vedantic terms I am using. Vedantic students can enjoy. All others also please try to enjoy. <laughs> Flower is, Mike is, Fan is, He is, She is. The nouns, pronouns are changing. But the easiness is not changing. Satta matrama chala namitine. I have total trust. I have no doubt in that. You are the non variable pure existence behind every nama rupa. When he is singing chala namitine, he went to so high pitch. Chala namitine. That is true. I have no doubt. Satta matrama chala namitini. Sarva bhauma shri tyagarajanuta. You are the emperor of this entire universe. Sarva bhauma. Tyagarajanuta. You are worshipped, praised, glorified by the Tyagaraja. Rama, you are not real name and form. You are pure existence, consciousness, infinite principle. But he is asking, Yanta Vedu Kondu Chinta Dirchu. So, Artha Bhakta to Artharthi Bhakta to Jignasu Bhakta, then become a Jnani Bhakta. Wonderful. Each Kirtana, if you understand the meaning, the entire Vedanta class I can take in Chagraja Kirtanas itself. That much depth Vedantic teaching is there in that. That's why I said in my introduction, how you look at it, that lyric. That is very important. The divinization, depending upon your attitude, then that gives you joy, and uh, immense joy. Then Chagaraja says, this knowledge, self-knowledge, who knows the non-variable, pure existence, consciousness, whoever knows, they are all wise people. They are all jnanis. How many are there? So many are there. You know what Kirtana is going to come. See how great you are all. <laughs> That's why I love to give Nado Pasana talk. Endaro Mahanu in Sri Raga. We listen.
This is the Kirtana which mesmerizes. We are all mesmerized by this Raga, this Pancharatna Kirtana. Tyagaraja showing his reverence, respect towards those all great wise people. They are not one or two. They are many in number, known or unknown also. Yandaro, immense. We can't count. In this country, there are many gnanis. From ancient time, Yandaro Mahanubhavan. He is going to enumerate their names in his charinam. And the joy he expresses in this kirtana, so immense the meaning of each charinam, the word, is so touching. How much knowledge is having Chagaraja? Tremendous knowledge is having. That is a Ganaraga. It has got so much weight. Ganam means, you know, a lot of weight it has got. Not on our heart. It has Ganam, but it makes our heart so light by listening it. In first Pallavi, Yandaro Mahanubhavul. Great Maharshis, Mahatmas, Punyatmas, devotees, noble ones, are many who are known to me, unknown to me also. Endaro Mahanubhavan. So what? So what? Salutations to all of them. Andariki. Andariki Vandanamudu. My salutations to all of them. How great they are. How much knowledge they have got. What a greatness knowing the Brahman. Not seeing God differently, seeing, not seeing, but knowing, not separately, but as oneself. How great they are! How much great they are! I will tell you in this Kirtana. He shows his reverence and he prays Rama, Chanduru Varnuni Anda Chandamuna. They are all those people. They are enjoying the Bhagavan's form. Every Jnani is a Bhakta. Every Bhakta need not be a Jnani. Paramarthananda Swamiji says, Every Jnani is a Bhakta. There is no spirituality without religion. The modern people are thinking, I am a spiritual person, but I don't want to be a religious person. It is a misnom. It's not a right perception. You can never be a spiritual person without being a religious person. What it means? You must worship the Lord in Saguna form. With a name, a form, you have to worship first. Saguna Ishwara Upasana is incomplete without Nirguna Brahma Jnanam. Nirguna Brahma Jnanam is impossible without Saguna Ishvara Bhakti. That is why every Jnani is a Bhakta. 
త్యాగరాజ సిన్స్ చందురు వరుణుని అంద చందమున రామాస్ మూన్ లైక్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ ఫేస్ హుచ్ ఈస్ ప్లజెంట్ టు హోమ్ హృదయార విందమున చూచి దోస్ వైజ్ పీపుల్ దే హ్యావ్ సీన్ ద రామ ఆత్మా రామ ఆనంద రమణ దే హ్యావ్ సీన్ రామ అవుట్ సైడ్ ఫస్ట్ ఇన్ సగుణ ఈశ్వర ఫామ్ దెన్ దే హ్యావ్ రికగ్నైజ్డ్ ద లార్డ్ రామా మీన్స్ హియర్ ఈశ్వర పరమేశ్వర పరమాత్మ దే హ్యావ్ రికగ్నైజ్డ్ దట్ రామ ఇన్ దెర్ ఓన్ హార్ట్ హృదయార విందమున ఇన్ దెర్ లోటస్ హార్ట్ చూచి హౌ దే కెన్ సి ఇన్ దెర్ లోటస్ హార్ట్ హార్ట్ ఈజ్ నేదర్ లోటస్ నార్ లోటస్ బడ్ ఇట్ వెన్ లోటస్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ బ్లోజమ్డ్ వెన్ యూ బెండ్ టాప్ స్టేర్ వే ఇట్ లుక్స్ లైక్ దాట్ హార్ట్ లుక్స్ లైక్ దాట్ వెర్ ఈస్ దట్ హార్ట్ దే ఆస్క్ రైట్ సైడ్ హార్ట్ ఈజ్ ఓన్లీ లెఫ్ట్ సైడ్ దట్ హార్ట్ ఓన్లీ వై టాక్ దెర్ ఆర్ నో టూ హార్ట్స్ హృదయార విందమున in that heart there is a space in that space atma is available as awareness witness consciousness they have recognized that witness consciousness hridayara vindamuna juchi they have recognized because you cannot see that abstract consciousness it is formless they have recognized they have understood హృదయార ఫస్ట్ లైన్ సగుణ ఈశ్వర సెకండ్ లైన్ నిర్గుణం బ్రహ్మ హృదయార విందమున చూచి బ్రహ్మానందము అనుభవించువారు బ్రహ్మానంద ఈజ్ దట్ ఆనంద అన్కండీషనల్ ఆనంద గ్రడేషన్లెస్ ఆనంద ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ లిమిటెడ్ బై ఎనీథింగ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ డిపెండింగ్ అపాన్ ఎనీ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఆర్ ఎనీ పర్సన్ Brahmananda is that ananda which is free from all six modifications. Nirgunam Brahma is free from all modifications. Brahmananda mu anubhavinchu var. Reveling in Brahmananda means don't think reveling. You know. Reveling in the sense they always abide in their nature. Never lose sight of their nature. ఆత్మ స్వరూపం దట్ ఈస్ ద మీనింగ్ దట్స్ వాట్ త్యాగరాజ సేస్ నౌ హీ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు స్టార్ట్ హౌ గ్రేట్ ద ఆర్ చరణం ఆన్ వర్డ్స్ ఇట్ కమ్స్ త్రీ త్రీ చరణంస్ హీ విల్ సింగ్ దెన్ ఐ విల్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు యాక్సెప్ట్ ఓకే బికాస్ వీఆర్ డిస్టర్బింగ్ యూ ఇన్ ద మిడిల్
ఫస్ట్ చరణం దట్ వైబ్రేషన్ ఆల్వేస్ కంటిన్యూస్ ఇన్ అవర్ మైండ్స్ సామగాన లోల లార్డ్ రామా ఈజ్ వన్ హూ ఇమ్మర్స్ ఇన్ లిజనింగ్ సామగానం who love to listen samagana samagana lola manasi ja lavanya manasi ja lavanyam lavanya means beauty these are all virtues of lord rama these virtues are known by those wise people those wise people who ever knows this type of rama to all of them my salutations how great it is all these virtues of rama known by those wise people i salute them i prostrate in front of them my sashtanga pranam to all of them manasi ja lavanya manasi ja means manmadha manmadha is so charming beautiful person manmadha lavanya rama is so attractive how much attractive kambar writes tol kandar tole kandar so beautiful all rishis were looking at rama they are not able to turn their eyes they are not able to blink also i don't know how much beauty is having <laughs> that much beauty manasi ja lavanya seeing that beauty of lord rama dhanya murdhanya they are all blessed dhanya means blessed murdhanya means what by blessing they are blessed and the blessing is like a crown for them murdhanya means a crown kiridam they are wearing that kiridam the blessing itself is a kiridam like for them that much they are so great rama loves samadanam in taitri upanishad gnani in bhrugavalli at the end gnani who has recognized his higher nature and out of joy he sings samagana by saying i am everything i am the subject i am the object i am the instruments i am the karta i am the bhokta i am the bhogya prapancha also everything i am the atma swarupam he sings that samagana runs like this etat samagayan naste ha uha uha u ahamannam 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 ahamannado మహమన్నాదోహమన్నాదోహమన్నాదోహమన్నాదోహమన్నాదోహమన్నాదోహమన్నాదోహమన్నాదోహమన్నాదోహమన్నాదోహమన్నాదోహమన్నాదోహమన
when you are also happy without your knowledge some song comes from gnani samagana comes from us local film songs only comes gnani atma gnani brahma gnani samagayan aste he always remains enjoying singing samagana then second charanam says very important like school teacher says very important manasa vana chara vara sancharam nilipi those wise people are one who has restrained their manasa how they became wise people how ramakrishna murthy became great musician you ask his party she will tell you how much tapas how much sadhana abhyasa is required to play here either murdangam or violin to sing how much sadhana tapas it is a tapas like that for a gnani the one who has done immense tapas austerities by controlling the mind what type of mind one chara like monkey like mind monkey what it does jumping here and there all the time the mind is like a monkey manasa vana chara sancharam nil by restraining the movement of the mind we should not stop the mind mind is a blessing manasai vedam aptavyam you can know only through the mind but channelize the mind direct the mind manasa vana chara vara sancharam nilipi murti baguga podagane that murti rama murti okay here rama murti okay lord rama's form baguga very well baguga podagane this podagane is not a common telugu podagane means juchi by seeing by seeing the lord's rama form here seeing means knowing podagane means knowing by knowing their rama's real nature higher nature absolute nature how they have come to that knowledge by restraining their mind to all of them my salutations andariki vandanamulu 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 manasa vana chara vara sancharam nilipi murti vaguga podagani so our mind has to be saturated with bhagwan's form bhagwan's name generally we start japa after some time we leave the japa <laughs> we forget doing japa but a real bhakta real upasaka a devotee of the lord the mantra japa is not separate from his personality it becomes spontaneous natural in his or her own personality that is called japa sadhana manasa vana chara vara without restraining your mind how can you do japa therefore they are all great people those who are all having the shama mind control because of that only they have attained knowledge andariki vandanamulu then third charanam saraguna padam lak swantamanu sarojamunu samarpanam cheyu var endaru what they offer to the lord not like any ordinary bhaktas saraguna immediately saraguna means what immediately without batting their eyes immediately 
పాదములకు ఎట్ ద ఫీట్ ఆఫ్ ద లార్డ్ రామ పాదములకు స్వాంతమను సరోజం దట్ ఈస్ వాట్ భగవాన్ వాంట్స్ దట్ ఈస్ ద రియల్ ఫ్లవర్ యు కెన్ ఆఫర్ టు భగవాన్ నాట్ స్మెల్ లెస్ ఫ్లవర్స్ ఫ్రాగ్రెన్స్ లెస్ ఫ్లవర్స్ వీ ఆర్ బయింగ్ అండ్ కీపింగ్ ఇన్ ద ఫ్రిడ్జ్ ఫర్ టూ డేస్ త్రీ డేస్ ఫోర్ డేస్ అండ్ ఆఫరింగ్ దట్ ఆల్సో టూ త్రీ ఫ్లవర్స్ భగవాన్ వాంట్స్ యువర్ హార్ట్ హార్ట్ ఇన్ ద సెన్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు థింక్ అబౌట్ భగవాన్ ఓన్లీ హౌ దే బికేమ్ సో గ్రేట్ జ్ఞానీస్ బికాస్ దే హ్యావ్ ఆఫర్డ్ దేర్ మైండ్ అంతఃకరణం టు ద లాడ్ ఐ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ ఎనీథింగ్ టు థింక్ సెపరేట్లీ ఫ్రామ్ యూ ఓర్ లాడ్ యూ ఆర్ ఓన్లీ బీ ఆల్ అండ్ ఎండ్ ఆల్ ఫర్ మీ i have nothing i have nothing in this world you are alone that is the greatness of gnanis swantamanu sarojamunu samarpanamu cheyuvaru offer to the lord dhanu manu sab kuch tera puja swami ji always make a fun hmm? is bhakta they sing today in front of the lord ధను తను ధను మను సబ్ కుచ్ తేర హ్యావింగ్ ఆఫర్డ్ తను బాడీ టు ద లార్డ్ తను మను మైండ్ ఆల్సో ఐ హ్యావ్ ఆఫర్డ్ ధను మనీ ఆల్సో ఐ హ్యావ్ ఆఫర్డ్ హౌ కెన్ యూ ఆఫర్ టుమారో బికాస్ యూ హ్యావ్ గివెన్ ఆల్రెడీ హౌ కెన్ యూ ఆఫర్ టుమారో యూ హ్యావ్ నథింగ్ టు ఆఫర్ బట్ దిస్ భక్త సింగ్ ద సేమ్ సాంగ్ ఎవ్రీడే ఎవ్రీ డే సేమ్ సంగ్ తను మన ధను సబ్ కుచ్ తేరా నాట్ నోయింగ్ ద మీనింగ్ నాట్ నోయింగ్ ద మీనింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ వై వెన్ వీ ఆర్ సింగింగ్ అట్లీస్ట్ వీ షుడ్ నో ద మీనింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ దెన్ ఇట్ బ్రింగ్స్ సమ్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్మేషన్ ఇన్ అవర్ లైఫ్ హు హ్యావ్ ఆఫర్డ్ దేర్ లోటస్ లైక్ హార్ట్ ఇమీడియట్లీ విత్అౌట్ హ్యావింగ్ any second thought for whom bhagwan is the means and bhagwan is the end they are the wise people there are so many wise people to all of them my salutations chagraja <coughs> says now we'll go to the fourth charanam fourth fifth and sixth charanams
ఎందరో మహానుభావులు అందరికీ వందనములు పతిత పావను పతిత పావనుడని పరాత్పరుని గురించి పరమార్థము నిజమార్గమును పతిత పావనుడు దే హ్యావ్ అండర్స్టూడ్ ద లాడ్ ఈజ్ ద వన్ హూ ఈజ్ ద ప్రొటెక్టర్ ఆఫ్ సిన్నర్స్ డిస్ట్రెస్డ్ దోస్ హూ ఆర్ ఇన్ డిస్ట్రెస్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దేర్ పాపకృత్యమ్స్ ఇన్ ప్రీవియస్ జన్మాస్ పావనుడు భగవాన్ ఈజ్ ద వన్ హూ ఈజ్ ద ప్యూరిఫయర్ పతిత పావనుడని పతిత మీన్స్ ద వన్ హూ ఈజ్ ఇన్ డిస్ట్రెస్ హూ ఇస్ ద సిన్నర్ హౌ వాల్మీకి వాజ్ ప్రొటెక్టెడ్ బై రామమంత్ర as a ratnakara how was his life even he do not know how to chant rama that much samskara is not there in his pronunciation then narada taught him mara 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 you would say no problem it becomes rama mara 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 patita pavanudani the ratnakara became a valmiki great maharshi patita pavanudani all wise people knows this the great lord is this the one who protects all of them paramatmuni paratparuni gurinchi parat paraha how depth this word if you study 15 years vedanta only you can explain this ha it is very difficult పరాత్పర పరమేశ్వర వి సింగ్ పరహ మీన్స్ హూ హ్యాస్ ట్రాన్సెండెడ్ హూ హ్యాస్ గాన్ బియాండ్ పరహ బియాండ్ ఆఫ్ వాట్ పరాత్ పరాత్ మీన్స్ అవ్యక్తాత్ మాయాత్ భగవాన్ ఈజ్ ద వన్ who has transcended the maya tatvam what it means he is beyond maya he is beyond avyaktam parat paraha means <coughs> bhagavan is of higher order of reality maya is of lower order of reality lower order of reality the vyavaharika satyam paramatma is paramarthika satyam who knows this wise people knows who have attended vedanta classes studied scriptures gita upanishads and all thoroughly under a competent teacher they alone can understand because endaro mahan bhavalu paratparuni grinchi paramarthamagu nijamargamuto paramartha means what the ultimate reality the truth they have understood what is that ultimate reality paramatma is the one who is of that higher order of reality absolute reality paramarthika satyam cannot be touched by this maya this parat paraha that means just as you are dream is a projected reality pratibhasika satyam you the waker is of relative order of reality vyavaharika satyam can dream water dream fire dream objects can touch you can they afflict you can dream fire cause any burns on your body can dream water makes your body wet why tell me because it is say loudly dream water is unreal dream fire is unreal to whom not to the dreamer 
dream fire dream water all dream objects are unreal for a waker waker is of higher order of reality than dreamer relative order of reality projected order of reality cannot touch like that same way the true nature of paramatma paramarthamagu nijamargam shreyo margam they have chosen the shreyo marga in which marga they have recognized the ultimate reality the paramartha satyam paramarthika satyam they have recognized therefore they know that paramatma is paratpara parava paratparuni gurinchi nijamargam to how great this word what a knowledge he is having he is having puranic knowledge scriptural knowledge everything it shows in that one word the depth paramat paratparuni gurinchi nijamargamuto they have chosen the right path shreyo marga bhagavan alone is the right that is the only marga nijamargamuto that is only nijamarga all other margas what not nijam <laughs> the parmatma the higher nature is the nija margam therefore he says he is beyond maya nija margam wise people who have chosen the real right path sallapamuto with joy because gnani is the one who is always who is always happy sallapamuto always bloomy face never gloomy face sallapamuto with joy and fervor swara laya aadi ragamulanu teliyuvarandaru my god the wise people knows even swara laya raga also <laughs> they know swaras they know the thalas aadi padat sahitya also <laughs> lyric also lyric also is important they know everything wise people know swara laya sahitya teliyuvaru they know all these things so gnani dayanand swami ji knows all this swara laya sahitya teliyuvaru endaru great mahatmas many mahatmas maharshis they all know this such a great people to all of them the raga when shloka tells bhairavah kaushikaschaiva hindono deepakas tatha shri rago meghragascha ragah shadit kirtita in that shloka shri raga comes then fifth charanam hari guna mani maya saramul galam see that how it flows the words hari guna mani maya saramul galam not wearing any necklaces only hari guna always singing about bhagwan there is no any chandraharams vaidhuryams nothing on their neck their neck is decorated with bhagwan's name praising bhagwan all the time devotees who have necklaces shining with the gems mani maya mani maya what the agraja is having what any mahatmas are having are they wearing gems diamonds <laughs> but they have that bhagwan's name glory they are always talking about that gems of the lord and qualities virtues they are praising that is the ornament they are all the virtues each virtue is like a gem each virtue is like a diamond like a diamond more than diamond yes we don't want to say diamond the american diamond bhagwan virtue in front of bhagwan virtue what diamond can stand what what gem can stand hmm? then after getting this knowledge they are all telivito chilimito telivito they are all intelligent hmm 
they are all intelligent we think gnani means paavam per saadu onnum theriyadunna tyagaraja knows that they are not unintelligent they are intelligent enough how to do vyavahara best example lord krishna hmm how much samaya spurti lord krishna has got lord rama also so telivito chelimito with endowed with knowledge to means with an artham telivito with knowledge chelimito with friendliness no with knowledge a friendship and karuna galgi with grace bless the entire world jagamellanu sudha drishti by their parvai parvai no by their sight they bless the entire universe their mere presence itself is a blessing to the entire universe they need not do anything their presence itself is a blessing jagamellanu sudha drishti che brochu var they are protecting the world they are all protecting the world what a eh? level of reverence chagaraja has got towards a gnani then he says hoyalu meera nadalu galgi sarasuni sada kanula ju chuchune when lord rama walks so majestic walk his walk you no know, he walks with so uh, majestic you know. everyone has to look at him when he is walking he never bend his back you know. <laughs> so straight you know. so much dignified hoyalu meera nadalu galgi sarasuni sada kanula juchu all the time they look at rama 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 when rama looks if you don't look at him you are most unfortunate person there is one shloka there are many shlokas because we'll just uh, go for uh, and uh, when rama sees if you don't see you are unfortunate when rama's parva is not falling on you you are also fortunate when rama looks at you you must see him but many people look here and there no? so that uh, vision of rama everyone was eagerly waiting the maharshis all were waiting for rama's sudha drishti hoyalu meera nadalu galgi sarasuni sada kanula juchuchunu always seeing kanula juchuchunu means you have to interpret gnana chakshu dwara through their wisdom i they always think about lord kanula juchuchunu pulaka shariru lai with with the experience of horripulations on their body pulaka shariru lai horripulations on their body once you listen the rama nama the horripulations comes when you look at him the personality that's why sita was so attracted to rama maybe ananda payodhi nimagnu lai because of that love devotion towards lord ananda payodhi they were immersed in the ocean of ananda nimagnulain dipped in that totally not taking half bath hmm. totally dipped hmm. in that rama nama ananda payodhi nimagnulai mudambunanu with so much joy happiness mudam means happiness ananda immense joy mudambunanu yashamugalava they are having lot of fame also the name and the fame they are all not ordinary people that means bhagavan's greatness the glory if you recognize bhagavan blesses bhagavan tells hey arjuna this teaching should not be given to anyone abhaktaya atapaskaya asrushru shave we should not give this knowledge to those people who criticize me who are not having bhakti on me who are not having any austerities in their life disciplines this teaching should not be given lord krishna said that is why all mahatmas gnanis 
were having that tapas shakti and they have devotion they never criticize the lord they praise the lord that's why bhagwan bless them with the knowledge next charanam Papani papani ri papani pama ri ri gadi sani pama pani ni sa ri papani papani ri papani pama ri ri gadi sani pama pani ni sa ri papani gadi gadi sani papani pani pama ri gadi sani pama pa ri papani papani ri papani pama ri ri gadi sani pama pani ni sa He is giving some the list, name of those gnanis, wise people, to whom he is saluting, to whom he is doing namaskarams. They are all these mahatmas. Who are they? Parama Bhagavata. They are great devotees of the Lord. Parama Bhagavata. That means without becoming a without becoming a devotee of the lord you cannot become a gnani understood parama bhagavata then mauni 
గ్రేట్ సేజస్ వర మౌని మీన్స్ నాట్ ఆర్డినరీ సేజస్ గ్రేట్ సేజస్ దెన్ శశి విభాకర చంద్రదేవత మూని జాలసే జ్ఞాని విభాకర ద సన్ లార్డ్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో ఏ జ్ఞాని విభాకర సన్ అండ్ మూన్ సనకస నందన సనత్ కుమార సనత్ సుజాత ఆల్సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు యాడ్ సనక సనందన హీ హెస్ గివెన్ సనత్ కుమార సనత్ సుజాత యూ హ్యావ్ టు యాడ్ సనక సనందన దే వర్ గ్రేట్ జ్ఞానీస్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ మై సాల్యూటేషన్స్ దిగీష దిక్పాలకాస్ దిగీష మీన్స్ టెన్ డైరెక్షన్స్ దేర్ ఆర్ దేవ దేవతాస్ హూ ఆర్ రూలింగ్ ద డైరెక్షన్స్ దిగ్ దేవతాస్ దే ఆర్ ఆల్సో జ్ఞానీస్ ఓన్లీ దిగీష నాట్ ఓన్లీ దట్ సుర దేవతాస్ ఆల్ ద దేవతాస్ అగ్ని వాయు వరుణ ఇంద్ర ఆల్ ద దేవతాస్ ఇన్ కేనో పనిషత్ వైనో వాయు అగ్ని ఇంద్ర ఆల్ ఆఫ్ దెంబర్ జ్ఞానీస్ వీ కమ్ టు నో కిం పురుష కిం పురుష మీన్స్ కించిత్ పురుష దోస్ ఆర్ సెలెస్టియల్స్ హూ హ్యావ్ ద హ్యూమన్ ఫామ్ లిటిల్ బిట్ కిం పురుష ఎ టైప్ ఆఫ్ దేవతాస్ సెలెస్టియల్స్ కిం పురుష దెన్ కనక కసిపు సుత కనక మీన్స్ గోల్డ్ కసిపు మీన్స్ కాట్ ద వన్ హూ హ్యాస్ గాట్ గోల్డెన్ కాట్ హిరణ్య కశిపు సుత సన్ హిరణ్య కశిపు సన్ అట్టర్ దట్ నేమ్ లౌడ్లీ ప్రహ్లాద గ్రేట్ జ్ఞాని కనక కశిపు సుత దెన్ వాట్ అవర్ హీరో నారద గ్రేట్ జ్ఞాని నారద when narada comes tumbura comes behind tumbura tumbura maharshi also narada maharshi also great gnanis pavana sunu anjaneya son of wind lord anjaneya bala chandra dhara the one who wear that bala chandra not full chandra lord shiva who is wearing that tadiya day the bala chandra he is wearing on his head great gnani bala chandra dhara shuka shuka maharshi is great gnani then saroja bhava bhusura varulu saroja bhava means four headed brahma ji chaturmukha brahma saroja bhava the one who is born in the lotus saroja bhava bhusura varulu not only devata celestials rishis sages on the earth also bhu suravarulu means the great brahmanas guna brahmanas those who are wise not otherwise brahmanas brahmanas suravarulu bhu suravarulu brahmanas are supposed to be bhu suravarulu on the earth they have to live only with the bhagwan's name so bhusuravarulu brahmanas they are all parama pavanulu they are all supreme purifiers because of gnanam they are all purified they are all purifying the world parama pavanulu khanulu shashvatulu they are imperishable they are always living on this earth ghanulu <coughs> shashvatulu kamala bhava sukham again kamala bhava comes here there is no punarukti dosha here kamala bhava means brahma sukham means ananda so brahma ananda you have to take <laughs> what to do saroja bhava has come already no kamala bhava comes therefore kamala bhava immediately what comes brahma so sukha comes in ananda brahma ananda brahma anandam సదానుభవులు గాక సదానుభవులు ఆల్ ద టైమ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ కండిషనల్ ఇట్ ఈస్ బియాండ్ టైమ్ అండ్ స్పేస్ దే ఆర్ నాట్ కండిషన్ బ్రహ్మానంద మీన్స్ ఒరిజినల్ ఆనంద బాండ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ నాలెడ్జ్ 
it is not born out of any money no local objects brahmananda without having anything second thing they are always enjoying their atmananda <coughs> brahmananda you can call it as atmananda because brahma alone is atma atma alone is brahma so brahmananda means don't look up and here and no? brahmananda means atmananda atma is myself so brahmananda means atmananda eternally enjoying sadanubhavulu gaaka vi not only this there are so many to all of them mai saashtanga pranams then ni menu nama vai bhavam munanu ni parakrama dhairyam they are all great enough to know the greatness of the lord how great he is so you must have saguna rupa gnanam also apara prakriti gnanam saguna ishvara maya sahitam brahma gnanam also required and nirguna brahma gnanam also is required many people if they have this they cannot have that saguna ishvara gnanam leads to nirguna brahma gnanam one day or other you cannot go anywhere okay <laughs> నీ మేను నామ వైభవను నీ పరాక్రమ ధైర్యములను యువర్ వ్యాలర్ పరాక్రమం యువర్ కరేజ్ శాంతము మానసము కరేజియస్ అట్ ద సేమ్ టైమ్ శాంత మానసం సో శాంతం రామాస్ ఫేస్ ఇస్ సో శాంతం ఆల్ ద టైమ్ సో ప్లజెంట్ నో యాంగ్జైటీ నో స్ట్రెస్ సో ఆల్వేస్ ప్లీజింగ్ because of knowledge when there is a knowledge it manifests in the face ni evulanu here this is a different telugu okay evulanu means your charitable nature evulanu means your charitable nature evulu plus anu evulanu when you join the sandhi ni evulanu how difficult you know <laughs> evulu anu your charitable nature they praise and suvachana satyamunu lord rama taught brahma vidya to lakshmana in rama geeta suvachana satyamunu when lakshmana was so distressed when he left sita devi in the forest and he asked rama he came to rama hey rama my mind is so depressed already almost i have lost my mind then rama gave that brahma vidya atma vidya to lakshmana suvachanamu satyamunu satya vak paripalana satyamunu raghuvarani yada sadbhakti oh raghuvara great among raghuvamsha raghuvara there are some systems of philosophers yada sadbhakti ni janinchaka durmatamulanu kalla jesinatti very powerful sentence there are people philosophers they always talk about dvaitam or vishishta dvaitam they never come to advaitam that is one type and they sankhya nyaya yoga all other philosophers also diverted they have also gone to wrong side they have also not known of course buddhism jainism all nastikas they never respect veda where is the question of god they never respect veda they never respect god all these systems of philosophies kalla jesinat you have established that advaita vedanta siddhanta by your teachings in the form of lord krishna in the form of lord rama in the form of great rishis you have established this advaita and you have falsified their systems of philosophies durmata mulanu kalla jesi natti nar when i was singing when i was very young i never knew these all meanings <laughs> by ishwara's grace when i come to shastra only what is durmatam wrong beliefs wrong notions all kalla jesi natti they are all false you have to drop them never go to them dvaita first step vishishta advaita next step you have to come to advaita finally therefore durmatanamulanu kalla jesini who knows this 
వైజ్ పీపుల్ నీ మది నిరింగి అన్నారు భగవాన్స్ టీచింగ్ ఈజ్ దిస్ వైజ్ పీపుల్ హ్యావ్ అండర్స్టూడ్ దాట్ నీ మది నిరింగి బికాస్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఫాల్సిఫైడ్ ద ఆల్ ద సిస్టమ్స్ ద్వైత విశిష్టాద్వైత లార్డ్ కృష్ణ డిడ్ దాట్ ఇన్ భగవద్గీత కళ్ళ చేసినట్టి నీ మది నిరింగి హ్యావింగ్ నోన్ యువర్ హార్ట్ దట్ మీన్స్ యువర్ టీచింగ్ సంత తంబునను all with with the joy santa tambunanu guna bhajanananda kirtanam they are always praising you oh god you are so great so wonderful such a great knowledge advaita gnanam you have established we are so happy santa tambunanu nija bhajanananda kirtanam seyu var endaru how many so many for all of them vandanamulu last portion those wise people the knowers of the self what are all they know i will tell you who says jagraja is telling bhagavata the story of krishna they know every gnani knows krishna's story without knowing krishna story he cannot become a gnani bhagavata ramayana the rama story also they know if anyone do not know they have to know after <laughs> hearing this kirtana hmm? ramayana not only that geetaadi smriti 
ఎవ్రీ జ్ఞాని ఈజ్ అవేర్ ఆఫ్ దట్ మోక్ష శాస్త్ర భగవద్గీత థరోలి ఆది పదార్థ మనుస్మృతి ఆజ్ఞవల్క స్మృతి పరాశర స్మృతి దట్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఈజ్ రిక్వైర్డ్ ఫర్ ఎవ్రీ జ్ఞాని గీతాది స్మృతి శాస్త్ర శాస్త్ర మీన్స్ అదర్ శాస్త్రం శిక్ష కల్పం వ్యాకరణం నిరుక్తం ఛందస్ జ్యోతిషం దిస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ శాస్త్రంస్ ఆల్సో దే నో సిక్స్ శాస్త్రంస్ దెన్ పురాణ ఎయిటీన్ పురాణస్ అగ్ని పురాణ పద్మ పురాణ బ్రహ్మ పురాణ మార్కండేయ పురాణ సో మెనీ పురాణస్ అట్లీస్ట్ మినిమమ్ దే మస్ట్ నో పురాణ నాట్ జస్ట్ నోయింగ్ మర్మములను నాట్ క్రిటిసైజింగ్ పురాణ నోయింగ్ ద డెప్త్ ఆఫ్ పురాణ మర్మములను శివాది షణ్మతములు గూఢములన్ శివాది షణ్మతములు మీన్స్ శైవమతం వైష్ణవమతం శాక్తమతం గాణాపత్యం కౌమారం శౌరం ఆల్ దీస్ ట్రెడిషన్స్ సంప్రదాయాస్ ఆర్ ఆల్సో beautifully they know because they have studied shastra in brahma sutra vyasa acharya gives a lovely description about these shanmatas and gudhamulan their views also in depth these wise people knows not only that muppadi mukkodi namaku romba parijayam 33 crores of devatas once you come to shastra so everything is in that you cannot uh, eliminate anything from shastra 33 koti sura antarangamulan bhavam 33 crores of devatas sura antarangamula bhavam their views bhavam antarangamula bhavam that means when you write small g gods all these muppadi mukkode devata small g is under the capital g they know the antaranga all these gnanis knows about the muppatti mukkode devatas and their antarangam and all devatas are the servants subordinates of paramatma infinite paramatma therefore they have no conflict at all in this text when they study everything has got alignment then he says sura antarangamula bhavam bula nirigi by knowing bhava raga layadi saukhya muche chirayuval always singing narada singing tumbra also singing ganesha singing saraswati also singing everyone is a singer huh? everyone is a great singer so great singer can get moksha so fast an artham okay bhava raga layadi bhava means script lyric raga లయ అండ్ సౌఖ్యం ద ఆనంద దే ఎంజాయ్ చిరాయువల్ దే ఆర్ ఆల్వేస్ లివింగ్ దే నెవర్ పెరిష్ దే ఆర్ ఆల్ హ్యావింగ్ లాంగ్ లైఫ్ ఆల్ ద టైమ్ ఆ చంద్ర తారకం యాజ్ లాంగ్ యాజ్ సన్ అండ్ మూన్ ఆర్ దేర్ దేర్ నేమ్ దే ఆర్ ఆల్ అరౌండ్ అస్ మేబీ దేర్ ఆల్సో లిజనింగ్ హియర్ ఓకే మెలడీ రిథమ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ దే నో నిరవధి సుఖాత్ములై త్యాగరాజాత్ములైన నిరవధి సుఖం మీన్స్ అన్అబ్స్ట్రక్టెడ్ లిమిట్లెస్ సుఖ ఆనంద నిరవధి సుఖాత్ములై యూ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ వాంట్ దట్ సుఖ యూ విల్ గెట్ ఇట్ ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ యూ విల్ గెట్ ఇట్ దట్ సార్ నిరవధి సుఖాత్ములై దే ఆర్ ఆల్ డియర్ టు త్యాగరాజ త్యాగరాజాత్ములై సో ఆల్ జ్ఞానీస్ ఆర్ డియర్ టు మీ త్యాగరాజాత్ములై ఎందరో మహానుభావులు అందరికీ వందనములు నవ్ ఓవర్ హీ కన్క్లూడింగ్ విత్ దిస్ జాయ్ ప్రేమ ముప్పిరి గొను ముప్పిరి మీన్స్ వాట్ జ్ఞాన భక్తి వైరాగ్య త్రీ పుట్ టుగెదర్ ద స్ట్రింగ్స్ టుగెదర్ విత్ జ్ఞాన భక్తి దే ఆర్ ఎన్సర్కిల్డ్ బై ద లవ్ ప్రేమ వాత్సల్య కరుణ కేర్ లవ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ కంపాషన్ with that prema muppiri gonna veda when this much happiness is there namamu dala chevar with that joy they are remembering the lord name namamu dala chevaru nijadasulaina var they are the real servants of the lord that nijadasulu you have to connect here where 
దిస్ ముప్పిరిగొను వేళ నామము దలచేవారు నిజదాసులైన వారు ఎందరో దే ఆర్ ఆల్ రామభక్తుడైన త్యాగరాజ వినుతుని దే ఆర్ ఆల్ రెవరెన్షియల్ టూ త్యాగరాజ హూ ఈస్ ద భక్త ఆఫ్ రామ రామభక్తుడైన అనదర్ కమెంటేటర్ గివ్స్ ట్రాన్స్లేషన్ టు దిస్ త్యాగరాజ వినుతుని యాజ్ లాడ్ శివ బికాస్ హీస్ ద వన్ హూ డిడ్ త్యాగ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ నో లాడ్ శివ కింగ్ ఆఫ్ సాక్రిఫైస్ కింగ్ ఆఫ్ రినౌన్సియేషన్ త్యాగ రాజ వినుతుని ప్రైజ్డ్ బై లాడ్ శివ రామ ఈజ్ ప్రైజ్డ్ బై లాడ్ శివ సచ్ శివ హూ ప్రైజ్డ్ రామ దట్ రామ భక్త ఐ ఎమ్ ఐ ద డివోటీ ఆఫ్ లాడ్ రామ నో దట్ హూ ఆర్ ద రియల్ సర్వెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ దే ఆర్ జ్ఞానీస్ they are always enjoying therefore my salutations to all of them endaro mahanubhavulu andariki vandanamulu now we'll go to the next kirtana suspense inanam ఏ <laughs> 
Kalyani has got another name, <coughs> Gamana Shrema. Gnanam is very difficult. Shrema is there. Gamana Shrema. When you take <coughs> this Shravana Manana Nididhyasanam, it is not so easy. It is very difficult. Not for all of you, for some people, it is difficult. You are all ready. Okay, don't take it as a difficult. Gnana Mosagarada, hey Rama, please give me knowledge. That means Rama Darishanam, Saguna Ishvara Darishanam cannot remove ignorance. If it has removed ignorance, Chagaraja would not have asked for self knowledge. Jnana Vasagarada. So, Jagaraja asking that itself shows Jnanam alone, Atma Jnanam alone removes the samsara, the sorrow. Jnana Vasagarada. Why vada? Don't waste my time. Don't delay. No arguments. I am ready. I am qualified. Garuda Gamana. You are travelling no? on the Garuda. Garuda Airlines, not Garuda Airlines. That Garuda Gamana, you are the one who is having the Vahanam of Garuda. Gamana, Garuda Gamana, Vada, why argument? Don't delay, come fast because I am ready. How I am ready? By chanting your name. Ni Nama Muchi Namadhi. By chanting your name all that time, it has purified my mind. What do you mean by purification? I am free from attachment. I am free from aversion. I am free from Kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, Madam, Atsaryas. 
so i am pure now this is the qualification for self knowledge who says tyagaraja says ni namamuche by your name namadi my heart my antakaranam nirmalamai unnadi it is pure ready to receive knowledge it is called application putting application to the lord for self knowledge so gnana yoga sadhana i am ready please come and give me knowledge then next charanam is important paramatmudu jeevaatmudu padunalugu lokamulu what type of knowledge i am asking paramatma eva jeevaatma jeevaatma eva paramatma paramatmudu jeevaatmudu both are one and the same that knowledge i want that knowledge she never separate the world from the lord padunalugu lokamulu all 14 lokas are also bhagavan only the atma swarupam only nara kinnara kim purusha naradaadi munulu naradas all sages they are also non separate from bhagavan from me the jeevatma i am the paramatma paramatma only entered this body as jeevatma तदेवाशत तदनु प्रवेश भगवान अलोन हेज एंटर्ड दिस बॉडी देन ई कम्स टू द नेक्स्ट लाइन फुल निर्गुण ब्रह्म परिपूर्ण यू आर द कंप्लीट परिपूर्ण मीन्स निर्गुण ब्रह्म इंफिनिट निष्कंक पार्टले निरवधि लिमिटे अवधिहित सुखदायक यू आर द गिवर ऑफ जॉय निरवधि सुखदायक वरत्यागराजार्चित ऑलवेज वर्षिप्ड बै त्यागराज यू आर् दगुणस्वूप निर्गुणस्वूप आलसो गिव मी सच ईक्य ज्ञान वाट ईज दट ईक्य ज्ञान जस्ट ई विल इंट्रड्यूस विदि फोर सेटेस बै शोइंग दिस् पार्ट शास्त्र इंट्रड्यूस द काज फस्ट इंट्रड्यूस द काज clay is the cause of this pot karanam is the clay introduce the cause then introduce the pot pot is the effect pot is the effect a product clay is the cause pot is the product this is called adhyaropa superimposition first step is clay is the cause what is the product second step so these two steps are adhyaropa superimposition then third step there is no pot negate the pot is there a pot there is only clay there is no pot you negate the pot it is called apavada negation having negated the pot where there is the causality to the clay once the pot is falsified the clay cannot have the causality karanatvam no fourth step you negate the causality karanatvam you take out because you have taken out the ghatatvam the ghata has gone negation of the pot has taken place therefore therefore what what remains in a not clay pot come to the darshtanta paramatma is the cause of this universe universe is the product of paramatma first step paramatma is the cause of this universe from bhagavan alone this universe has come this universe is a product karya you have introduced having introduced the karanam and karyam adhyaropa then third step you negate the karyam prapancha there is no prapancha at all really then what is there now effect can never exist separate from the cause since the pot cannot exist separate from the clay pot is unreal cause alone is real in the third step we negate the world is also doesn't exist separate from the god therefore god alone is appearing as the world there is no world it is vacharambhanam vikaro nama dheyam then fourth step we say since the world is negated there is no karyam bhagwan is not the karanam of this universe 
karanatvam also is taken out that is the essence of this paragraph paramatmudu jeevatmudu padunalugu lokamulu the whole entire universe devatas all of them paripurna nishkalanka niravadi sukadayaka you give that knowledge to me which gives permanent joy he rama you are the one who is the giver of knowledge therefore sarvam brahmamayam that is the essence of this shloka next last one we will hear ಸೌಖ್ಯಮೂಲೆ ದೂಷಾಂತಮೂಲೆ ಕೌಖ್ಯಮೂಲೆ ಅಲ್ಲ 
Without mental peace, <coughs> Shantamu leka. Without mental peace, there is no happiness. Saukhyamu ledu. Whole lotus petal eyed one, Lord Rama. Sarasa dhala nayana. No saukhyam without Shanta. Shantamu leka. What Shanti we are getting is a relative peace. It gives in between respite, but Chagaraja is telling Dantuni Kaina, Vedantuni Kaina, Shanta Muleka. Even though he is a great controller of his senses, Dantuni Kaina is having Dhamma. Vedantuni Kaina, great philosopher. Vedantuni Kaina means who is having a Paroksha Jnanam. Avantara Vakya Jnanam Paroksha Jnanam Brahma Asti Jnanam Natu Brahma Asmi Jnanam Vedantuni Kaina Shantamuleka 
शातम शिवमद्वैत चतुर्थम मनते स आत्मा स विघ्नेय दक्षात मांडोक्योपनिषत् सेवेन्त मंत्र शातम लेख तुरीय आत्मज्ञान लेख वेर इज द सौख्यम दट इज द मीनिंग दे धारा सुत धनधा उट इज द यूज आफ् धारा वैफ सुत चिलड्र धनधा वेल लॉट आफ प्रास्परिटी सारे को जपतप संपद कल सारे को मीन अगेन अंड अगेन रिपीटेडली डूइंग जप तप सो मच बट दर्ज नो शांति वै बिका दर्ज नो तुरी आत्म ज्ञान दर्स वै दर्ज नो शांति सौख्यमू ले सो द रियल रिटिव शांति इज नाट द शांति अब्सल्यूट शांति इज ओनली इन आत्म ज्ञान आगम शास्त्र अन्नीयू चली अन्नी चली आगम शास्त्र आल दिस्टम्स आफ फिलासफी इफ यू स्टडी अपरा विद्या स्टडी वट एवर यू स्टडी बागुग सकल हृदभाव युवर नॉलेज युवर एलक्वे युवर ग्रेट इन द स्कालशि नाट गोइंग टू हेल्प ओनली गुरकृप ईश्वर कृप आत्मकृप is all required shastra krupa is required then yagaadi karmamulu chesina so many yagas you are doing yagaadi karmamulu chesina bhagavatulanu chu baaguga peraina they are all praising you in the society you are a great bhagavatar great bhagavatar but he is not having peace of mind shantamu leka what is the use of giving harikada kalakshepam if There is no Parama Shanti Atma Nanda. Therefore, hey Rama, Raja Adi Raja, King of Kings, na. Hey Sri Raghava, Chaga Raja Vinutta Sadhu Rakshaka. You are the protector of sadhus, noble people. You are the protector of all of them. Tanak Upa Shanti Leka, Upa Shantaman, Mandukya Megen. प्रपंचोपशम शात शिवम्वैत उपशा मीन प्रपंच उपशम फॉलिफइंग द एंटर् नाम रूप प्रपंच द आत्मा एलोन इज द सत्यम द डे यू रिकग्नज ओनली शात इज दट इज दट मीनिंग आफ् दिस् कीर्तन त्यागराज से दट वै हव एवर मच नॉलेज यू हाव स्क्रिप बुक्श नॉलेज दट विल नाट हेल्प यू द श्लोक से यस्य नास्ति स्वयं प्रज्ञ शास्त्र तस्य करोति किम् लोचनाभ्याम् विहीन से दर्पण किं क्य ए ब्लैंड मैन कैनाट एंजॉय दर्पण किं क्यों वाट दट मिर्रर् कैन डू टू ए ब्लैंड मैन कैन ही सी हिज फेस सिमिलरली शास्त्र आलसो इफ यू डोंट हैव सम विवेक सम इंगित ज्ञानम some discriminative knowledge shastra is also helpless even bhagwan is also helpless you have to put your effort you have to do hard work like that alignment you have to bring see the orchestra how many times he is taking tambura and arranging the shruti because he cannot sing if there is abashruti suppose a musician singing in one raga todi raga and the violinist is playing hindola raga and mrudangist is playing in rupak taalam when he is singing in adi taalam can you hear can you sit here because there is no symphony there is no synthesis there is no integration there is no coordination because it is a cacophony you cannot enjoy how you are able to enjoy you now shruti shuddham swara shuddham laya shuddham alignment is very important similarly our music our life is like a music all our sense organs mind intellect body must have an alignment manasekam vachasekam karmani ekam mahatmana manasa vacha karmana i must have an alignment then alone there is a shanti therefore the mind has to be trained into that groove of alignment that alignment comes through karma yoga upasana yoga ashtanga yoga finally it leads to 
Vinana Yoga. With this, I conclude my talk on mind management as a spiritual sadhana in Thyagraja Krutis. In these Kirtanas, Jnana Yoga is highlighted. Now we have a Mangalam, then I will have a Shanti Patha. Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyona Maha Harihi Om All of us witnessed a melodious performance by Sri Ramakrishnan Murthy and others. They have taken us to the zenith of the musical world. Now it is the time to fel felicitate our musicians. Before that, I utilize this opportunity to express our heartfelt gratitude to Pooja Swamini for their elucidation of Thyagaraja Kratis. Swamini's lucid explanation in a cogent manner made us to understand the epitome of Thyagaraja Kritis. 
I request the musicians of the evening to seek blessings from Pooja Swamini. Sri Ramakrishnan Murthy Okal, the melodist who has taken us the nectarious musical world with his excellent performance. I use this opportunity to thank him and invite Sri Ramakrishnan Murthy to seek blessings from Pooja Swamini. Sri Sandhi Pramachandran, violinist, who along with Sri Ramakrishnan Murthy attracted our attention with his marvelous performance. I thank him for his amazing performance and request him to take blessings from Pooja Swamini. Sri Akshay Ananta Padmanabhan, Mridangam, who made us spellbound with his commendable performance. I take this opportunity to thank him for the great performance and invite him to seek blessings from Pooja Swamini. Srimati R. Geeta Tambura, who has given excellent synchronization to our musicians and made this program a, a huge success. I thank her and invite to take blessings from Pooja Swamini. Now I call upon Ms. Balasaraswati, our sponsor for today's program to seek blessings from Pooja Swamini. Shri R.K. Ramakrishnan, who has helped us organize this program, will now seek Pooja Swamini's blessings. Thank you. Hari Om.